to the students, our families, friends, faculty and staff, to the first annual Great Hearts Live Oak Spelling Bee. This is truly a momentous event for our community. We are so proud of the work of our scholars in preparing for this day, and we celebrate their accomplishments. They have already won a spelling bee in order to be here competing today. We want to remind everybody in the room to please silence your cell phones. We're so grateful for your positive energy and your encouragement for our scholars today. And with that, we're going to get started. Congratulations, everybody. You already deserve so much praise and congratulations. We're very proud of each and every one of you. Scholars, without further ado, we will begin the spelling bee. I will call each of you up to the podium where you will hear the word and spell for the judges. Thank you. I'll be standing up as well so that I can see seen a little bit better. Are there any questions before we begin the bee? Uh, I will turn my best. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Yes. yes. yes All right. We'll begin with speller number one. <coughs> speller number one, this word has a homonym. Your word is gel. Noun. A semi-solid, apparently homogeneous substance that may be elastic and jelly-like, or more or less rigid. Your word is gel. Gel. No, not even the color can make fun of Okay. Color number two. Take your word is train. Train. T R A I N. Train. Spelling number three. This is word word has a near Your word is sport. sport. Verb. To, to wear. wear. Sports. Sport. S P O R T. Can you hear? Sport. Spelling number four, this word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is eel. Noun, any number of numerous snake-like fishes that have a smooth, slimy skin, often without scales. Your word is eel. E-E-L, eel. Spelling number five. Spelling number five, this word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is fan, a plural noun, meaning enthusiastic devotees of a sport like baseball or diversion like ballet, usually as spectators rather than participants. Your word is fans. Fans. F-A-N-S. Fans. Number six. Spellard, this word has a near homonym. 
Your word is tall. Adjective. High in stature. Tall. Tall. T A L L. Tall. Song number seven. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is hit, verb, to strike something with an object, so as to impart or redirect motion. Hit. Hit. H I T. Hit. Spell so number eight. Your word is peanut. Peanut. P E N U T. Peanut. I'm sorry, spelling number eight. Spelling number nine. Your word has a homonym. Your word is bite. Noun. A small amount of food or a snack. Bite. Bite. B I T E. Bite. Spell number 10. Your word is new. New. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is gummy, an adjective meaning sticky. The word is gummy. Gummy. G U M M Y. Gummy. Spell number 12. Your word is ray. Ray. R A Y. Ray. Spell number 13. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is mops. Plural noun. Household implements, each consisting of a mass, mass of absorbent material fastened to a long handle and used typically for cleaning floors. Mops. Mops. M-O-P-S. Mops. Number 14. Your word is thanks. Can you repeat the word? Your word is thanks, plural noun. Thanks. T H A N K S. Thanks. Number 15, your word is dash. Dash. D A S H. Number 16. You can put it down here. Your word is skin. Skin. S K I N skin. We're gonna skip number seventeen because we're not here. So number eighteen. We'll go off the end of the line. Your word is star. Star. S T A R star. Number 19. 
Your word is began. Began. B E G A N. Began. And number 20. This word is a homonym. Your word is day, noun, the time of light or interval between one night and the next. Day. Day. D A Y. Day. And now number 21. Your word is upset. Up uh, upset. U P S E T. Upset. This concludes round one. We have eliminated one speller. We will now begin round two, starting with speller number one. <laughs> this word has a homonym. Your word is father, a noun meaning a man who has had a child, a male parent. Father. Father. F-O-T-H-E-R, Harvard. Number two. This word also has a homonym. The word is jam. Noun, a product made by boiling fruit and sugar to a thick consistency without preserving the shape of the fruit. Jam. Jam. G-A-M. Jam. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Speller number three. Speller number three, the word, word is mug. Up. For a while, drinking is usually a medical or urban barrier. Most. M most. M O S T. Most. All right, all right, so for me, I think that they're going to be able to finish the connection. You'll have a new word. Listen to this word has a common in it. Your word is fair, meaning a noun, meaning an organized, usual, annual, at which there are very complex meanings, right? And entertainment and competition. Please spell fair. F fair. F A I R. Fair. That's correct. Right. number four. Your word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is dinner. Noun, the principal meal of the day eaten in the evening. Dinner. I am. And you are. number five. Can you wait one second? Oh, I am myself. Right there. Miss Elijah? Can you please mute your microphone? Thank you. All right, so number five. Your word is rats. Plural noun. Rodents that differ from mice by their larger size. Rats. Rats. R-A-T-S. Rats. So number six. Your word is fed. Verb meaning gave food to. Fed. Fed. F E D. Fed. Star number seven. Spell like this 
this word has a homonym. The word is sir, noun, usually a respectful form of address uh, to, as to an older person, a superior, or the presiding officer of a legislative assembly. The word is sir. Sir. Sure. S-I-R, sure. Spell number nine. Your word is full. Full. F-U-L-L, full. Spell number 10. Your word is huge. Huge. H U G E. Huge. Call number 11. Your word has a homonym. Your word is born. Adjective having from or as if from birth, specified, specified or implied qualities. Your word is born. Born. B O R N. Born. Number 12. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is damp. Adjective meaning slightly or moderately wet. Damp. D A M P. Damp. Number 13. This word has a homonym. Your word is from. Preposition. Used as a function word to indicate a starting point such as something that is taken as a starting point in measuring or reckoning or in a statement of limits. From. From. F-R-O-F. From. 14. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is hunch. Noun. A strong intuitive feeling. Hunch. Can you repeat that? Hunch. Hunch. H U N C H. Hunch. Number 15. Number 15, your word is each. Each. E A C H H. Number sixteen. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is ribs, plural noun. The paired curved bony rods that stiffen the lateral walls of the body of most vertebrates and protect the organs. Ribs. Ribs. R I B S. Ribs. Number 18. Your word is forever. Forever. F O R E V E R. Forever. Number 19. This word has a homonym. Your word is freeze, verb, to stand or remain without movement or activity of any kind. Freeze. Freeze. F-R-E-E-Z. Freeze. Number 20. Number 
Number 20, your word is talking. Talking. T-A-L-K-I-N-G. Talking. Number 21. Your word, the last of the round, is money. Money. M-O-N-E-Y. Money. That concludes round two. We have now eliminated two spellers. We will begin again with speller number one. Please come to the microphone. Yes. I can hear her. Say it again. I still didn't hear. Who else was eliminated? Uh, we have eliminated speller number two and speller number eight so far. Good luck to those still remaining and good work to everyone. We begin round three. Speller number one. Your word is couch. Couch. C O U C H. Couch. Color number three. Color number three, can you hear me? Color number three, your word is strand. Plural noun. Elements of a woman for completed material. Strand. S S H T A N S E. <laughs> Color number four. You may come to the front. Your word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is chapter. Now, a main division of a book, usually beginning on a new page. Chapter. A-P-E-R. Spell number five. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is chess, noun, a game for two players, each of whom moves 16 pieces according to fixed rules across a board. Chess. Chess. C H E S S. Chess. Call number six. I'd like to remind all scholars that you may always ask for the part of speech, definition, or a word, a sentence using the word if you're not sure. Call number six. Your word is slimy. Slimy. S L I M Y. Slimy. Color number seven. Your word is squeak. Squeak. S Q U E A.
I E N D. Friend. Number ten. Your word is laptop. Laptop. L A P T O P. Laptop. Number eleven. Your word is movie. Movie. N O V I E. Number twelve. This word has a homonym. Your word is known. Adjective. That is apprehended or perceived by the mind or senses. No. Could you repeat the word? No. 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 K N O W N. No. Number 13. <laughs> Your word is suffer. Suffer. S U F F E R. Suffer. Number 14. Your word is double. Double. D O U B L E. Double. Number 15. Your word is watch. Watch. W A T C H. Watch. Number 16. Your word is dream. Dream. D R E A M dream. Number eighteen. Your word is beans. Beans. B E A N S beans. Number nineteen. This word has a homonym. Your word is child, noun, a young person of either sex, especially between infancy and youth. Child. Child. G-H-I-L-D. Child. Number 20. Your word has a near homonym. The word is space, noun, the region beyond the word, the Earth's atmosphere. Space. Space. S P A C E. Space. Number 21. This word has a near homonym. Your word is princess, noun, a female member of a royal family, especially a daughter or granddaughter of a sovereign. Princess. Princess, P R I N C E S S, Princess. Thank you, spellers. That concludes round three. We now have seventeen spellers remaining. And please be reminded 
that when you come up to spell, you may lower your mask so that the judges can hear you better. Let's begin again with speller number one. Your word has a near homonym. Your word is awe, noun, abashed reverence and fear inspired by authority or power. Awe. Awe. A-W-E. Awe. Number four. Here it is. Your word is a far. A F A R. Number five. Number five, your word is cost. Cost. C O S T cost. Number six. Your word is sidekick. Sidekick. S I D E C I C K. Sidekick. I'm sorry, number six. Speller number seven. You are asking me. Your word is stuff. Stuff. S T U F F. Stuff. Speller number eight. I'm sorry, spell number nine. This word has a mere homonym. Your word is least, adjective, lowest in importance or position. Least. Least. L E A S T. Least. Number 10. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is felt, noun, a cloth constructed usually of wool and fur fibers. Felt. Felt. F E L T. Felt. Number 11. One moment. Ready, just... Number 11, your word has a homonym. Your word is would, verb, used in auxiliary function to express insistence or determination, as in, Mr. Abrams insisted that there would be order in his classroom. The word is would. Would, Your word is shambles. Shambles. S H A M B L E S. Shambles. Number 13.
Your word is tail light. Tail light. T A I L L I G H T. Tail light. Number 13. Uh, 14. Your word is quicken. Can you read the word? Your word is quicken. Quicken. Q U I C K E N. Quicken. Number 15. This word has a homonym. Your word is presence, noun, the state of being in one place and not elsewhere. Presence. Presence. P R E S E N C E. Presence. That's correct. Number 16. This word has a near homonym. Your word is raz, verb, to tease and banter at, to ridicule. Raz. Raz. R A Z E. Raz. Sorry, that is incorrect. Color number 18. Your word is followed. Please turn your face to questions. Followed. F O L L O W E D. Followed. Number 19. Your word is purple. Purple. P U R P L E, purple. Number 20. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is entire, adjective, with no element or part accepted, whole, complete, entire. Entire. E N T I R E. So, number 21. This word could also be confused with a similar word. Your word is December, noun, the 12th month of the Gregorian calendar. Let's try to make the judges. December. D E C E. M-B-E-R. December. This concludes round three. Round four, actually. Speller number one. A reminder to all spellers that you may lower your mask so that the judges can hear you more clearly, but only when you are at the podium. Speller number one. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is sudden, adjective, changing angle or character all at once, abrupt. Your word is sudden. Sudden. S-U-D-D-E-N. Sudden. Speller number four. Your word is combed, as in Tamia's mom always combed and braided her hair at the beginning of the school week. Combed. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Color number five. Your 
word is patrol. Patrol. P A T R O L. Patrol. Speller number seven. Your word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is window, noun, an opening in a wall of a building or a side of a vehicle to admit light. Window. Window. W-I-N-D-O-W, window. Color number nine. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is pocket. Noun, a small cloth bag sewed into a garment and left open. Pocket. Pocket. P-O-C-K-E-T. Pocket. Number 10. Your word is project. Project. P R O J E C T. Number eleven. Your word is goofy. Goofy. G O O F Y. Number 12. Your word is remember. Remember. R E M B E R. Remember. I'm sorry. So, number 13. The word is travel. Travel. T R A V E L. Travel. Number 14. Your word is cranky. Your word is cranky. Cranky. C R A N. K Y cranky. Number fifteen. Your word is career. Career. C A R E E R. Career. Number eighteen. Seller number 12. No, you're not seller number 12. That's seller number 12. Seller number 18. Your word is disease. Disease. D I S E A S E. Disease. Number 19. Your word is trophy. Trophy. T R O P H Y. Trophy. Number 20. Your word is athlete. Athlete. A T H L E T E. Number 21. Your word is jotted. 
Can you uh, say the definition? Wrote briefly or hurriedly. Jotted. Jotted. J O T T E D. Jotted. This concludes round five. We're ready to be in round one, uh, round six. <laughs> I'm not good at math, I'm good at words. <laughs> word has a homonym. Your word is side, verb, released slowly and audibly a deep drawn breath, especially as the expression of weariness, dejection, grief, regret, longing, yearning, or relief. Side. Side. S-I-G-H-E-E. -E, side. Number five. Your word is duo. Duo. D U O. Duo. Number seven. Your word is repressed. Repress. Repress. R. E P R E S S repress. Number nine. This word has a near homonym. Your word is either adjective, the one or the other of the two. Either. E A T H E R. Either. I'm sorry. Color number 10. Your word is rely. Rely. R E L I E. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Number eleven. So number eleven. Your word is. Choose. Choose. C H O O S E. Choose. Sorry. Oh, I I'm sorry. That is a mistake on my part. We'll get a new word. Yeah. Your new word is else. Else. E L S E. Else. Your word is antsy. Antsy. A N T S Y. Antsy. Number 14. This word has a homonym. Your word is Canada. A geographical entry, the country of northern North America between the Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic Oceans. Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. Canada. Number 15. Your word is bison. This word has a near homonym. Now, any of several large shaggy maned, usually bovine mammals, having a large head with short horns and heavy forequarters. Bison. Bison. B-I-S-O-N. Bison. 
Number 18. Your word is dangerous. Dangerous. D A N G E R O U S. Dangerous. Number 19. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is pluck, verb, to pull or pick off or out, together by picking, pluck. Pluck, P-L-U-C-K, pluck. Number 20. Your word is squid. Squid. S Q U I D squid. And number twenty-one. Your word is frisbee. Uh, can you see the definition? Yes. This is a trademark used for a plastic disc for tossing between players. Frisbee. Frisbee. F. R I S B E E Risby. All right, that concludes round six. All right, sellers, we're going to take a, a brief, brief pause to stretch before we continue with the rest of our competition. A reminder that you cannot leave to go to the restroom until we finish with the game. You may stand up and stretch. Is that true? I don't know. Can we pause this one? Um, okay. You want me to make that announcement? Okay. Followers okay. that are um, out of the competition, you're welcome to follow me and we can go into class and have a break. So, Brandy, you can keep your name tag. Just um, bring them with you, okay? Can I stay for that? You can stay if you like. Okay. 
Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Are you to use that bottle of Oh, yeah, no, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, scholars, the competition is heating up. We'll continue with the next round, beginning with scholar number one. This word has a homonym. Your word is cocoa, noun, a beverage prepared by cooking chocolate powder with water or milk. Cocoa. Cocoa. C O C O A. Cocoa. Seller number five. Your word is nutrients. Nutrient. N. U P R I E T E N T S. The trance. 
I'm sorry, song number five. Song number seven. Your word is scarcely. Adverb by a narrow margin, just barely, scarcely. Scarcely. S C A R E. C E. Oh, I'm sorry. Scholar number 11. Your word is stretcher. Stretcher. S T R E. Can I start over? S T R E C H E R. Stretcher. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Solar number 13. This word has a homonym. Your word is layers. Plural noun. The beds or living places of wild animals. Dens. Layers. Layers. L A I R S. Layers. Number 14. This word is a homonym. The word is mustard, noun. A pungent yellow condiment. Mustard. Mustard. M U S T A R D. Mustard. Number 15. This word has a homonym. Your word is cruel, adjective, stern, rigorous, and grim, unrelieved by leniency or softness. Cruel. Cruel. C R U E L. Cruel. Number 18. This word has a near homonym. Your word is goblins, plural noun. Ugly or grotesque sprites sometimes conceived as evil and malicious, and sometimes as merely playful and mischievous. Goblins. Goblins. G-O-B-L-I-N-S, goblins. Number 19. Your word is Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Capital S T A N D I N A V I A. Scandinavia. Number 20. This word has a near homonym. Your word is opus. Now, a musical composition or set of compositions usually numbered in the order of composition or publication. Opus. Can you please repeat the word? Opus. O, wait, opus. O, P, U, S, S. I'm sorry. Spell number 21. Your word is pedestrian. 
definition? Yes. Pedestrian, one walking as distinguished from one traveling by car or cycle. Pedestrian. P E D E S T R I A N. Pedestrian. That is the end of the round. We now have eight spellers remaining for the next round. Whenever you're ready, speller number one. Your word is snorkels. Snorkels. S N O R K E L S. Snorkels. Speller number 13. Your word is lullaby. Lullaby. L U L L A B Y. Lullaby. Number 14. Your word is tangents. Tangents. T A N G E N T S. Tangents. Number 15. Your word is expression. Expression. E X P R E S S I O N. Expression. Number 18. Your word is semicolon. Semicolon. S E M I C O L O N. Semicolon. Number 19. All right, scholars, if you are sitting and not at the microphone, you should be absolutely silent. Thank you, speller number 19. Your word is incantations. Incantations. I N C A N T A T I O N S. Incantations. Speller number twenty one. Your word is venture. Can you say the definition? Dared to encounter, undertake, or embark on. Venture. Venture. V E N T U R E D. Venture. We're now ready to begin the next round. There are seven spellers remaining. Yes. Well, there you go. There are seven spellers left, and you are the first one, speller number one. This word has a near homonym. Your word is feta, noun, a white cheese made of the milk of sheep or goats and cured in brine. Feta. Feta. E T A T Number thirteen. Your word.
word is proverb. Proverb. P R O V E R B. Proverb. Number 14. Your word is indecipherable. It could be confused with a similar word. It's an adjective that cannot be converted into intelligible form. Indecipherable. Indecipherable. I N D E C I P H E R A B L E. Indecipherable. Number 15. Your word is podium. Podium. P O D R U M. Podium. Number 18. Your word is Aztec. Aztec. Capital A Z T E C. Aztec. Number 19. Your word is sinister. Sinister. S I N I S T E R. Sinister. And number 21. Your word is ancestors. Can you say it in a second? On Dia de los Muertos, Mexican families gather to remember their ancestors and often make offerings to the souls of the dead to encourage them to visit the gathering. Ancestors. A N C E S T O R S. Ancestors. That's correct. All seven spellers remain. For the next round. Round 10, beginning with seller number one. Your word is convulsive. Convulsive. C O N V E L. C-E-V, convulsive. I'm sorry, seller number one. Seller number 13. Your word is detergent. Detergent. D-E-T-E-R-G-E-N-T, -E -E detergent. Number 14. Your word is sheathed. Sheathed. S H E A T H E D. Sheathed. Number 15. Your word is congratulate. Congratulate. C O N. G R A. G U L A T E. Congratulations. Sorry. Spelling number eighteen. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is scallion, noun, a young onion pulled before the bulb has enlarged. Scallion. Scallion. S-C-A-L-L-I-O-N. Scallion. Number 19. Your word 
is intoxicating. Intoxicating. I N T O X I C A T I N G. Intoxicating. And number twenty-one. Your word is porcupine. Uh, can you use it in a second? When Heather's dog got into an altercation with a porcupine, she spent the next hour removing quills from its paws. Porcupine. P O R C U P I N E. Porcupine. At the end of round 10, we now have five spellers remaining. As the words get more difficult, I'd like to remind spellers that you are welcome to ask for information about the word, including part of speech, definition, and use in a sentence, as well as language of origin before you begin spelling. We will begin now with speller number 13. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is ineffective, adjective, not capable of performing the required work or duties, incapable. Ineffective is your word. I N E F F E C T I V E, ineffective. Number 14. Your word is trough. Can you repeat that? Trough. Trough. T R O U G H. Trough. Number 18. This word has a homonym. Your word is leech. Verb. To dissolve out by the action of a percolating liquid, leach. Leach. L E A C H, leach. Number 19. Your word is wrath. This word is a homonym. The word is wrath noun, a strong enraged feeling expressed vehemently and accompanied by bitterness, malignancy, or condemnation. Wrath. Wrath. W R A T H. Wrath. Number 21. Your word is corporate. Can you say it in a sentence? After working as a teacher for years, Jack found that he preferred the corporate setting of his new job. Uh, can you say the definition? Corporate, of or relating to an association of persons for carrying on a commercial or industrial enterprise or business in general. Corporate, C-O-R-P-R-A-T-E, corporate. Sorry, that is incorrect. At the end of round 11, we now have four spellers remaining. Speller number 13. We will start. Your word is dissuade. Dissuade. D I S S U A D E. Dissuade. Number 14. Your word is divulge. Divulge. D I V U L G E. Divulge. Number 18. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is meditation, noun, 
Private devotion or spiritual exercise. Meditation. Meditation. M E D I T A T I O N. Meditation. Number 19. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is franchise, noun, the right granted to an individual or group to market a company's goods or services in a particular territory. Franchise. Franchise. F R A N T H I S E. Franchise. That concludes the round. No scholars were eliminated. We begin again with seller number 13. Your word is protruding. Protruding. P R O T R U D I N G. Protruding. Number 14. Your word is substantial. Substantial. S U B S T A N T I A L. Substantial. Number 18. Your word is flamingos. Flamingos. F L A M I N G O S. Flamingos. Number 19. Your word is parishioner. Can you repeat it? Parishioner. Parishioner. P A R I S H. I-O-N-E-R, That's correct. You return to the top of the order. Seller so number 13. Your word is astrologers. Astrologers. A-S-T-R-O. L O G E R S, astrologers. Number 14. Your word is stalagmite. Stalagmite. S T A L A G M I T E, stalagmite. Number 18. This word has a mere homonym. Your word is traitorous, adjective, having the nature or quality of one that betrays another's trust or of treason or betrayal. False, treacherous, treasonable, traitorous. Traitorous. T R. A I T O R O U S traders. And spell number 19. Your word is condominium. Condominium. C O N D O N I N I U N. Condominium. Continue with our final four spellers. Number 13. Your word is psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. P S Y C H I A T R I S T. Psychiatrist. That's correct. Number 14. The 
The word is irreversible. Irreversible. I R R E V E R S I B L E. Irreversible. Number 18. Your word is mustache. Mustache. M U S T A C H E. Mustache. Number 19. Your word is scepter. Scepter. S C E P T R E. Scepter. At this point, we'd like to pause if there are any scholars who have been eliminated from the competition and would like to return to their classrooms, please do so now. One. All right, we continue with our final rounds with our final four spellers. Speller number 13, begin. Your word is apparition. Apparition. A P P A R I T I O N. Apparition. Speller number 14. Your word is superintendent. Superintendent. S U P E R I N T E N D E N T. Superintendent. Number 18. Your word is exhalation. Exhalation. E X H A L A T I O N. Exhalation. Number 19. Your word is clamorous. Clamorous. C L A M O R O U S. Clamorous. Round 17. Your word is chauffeurs. Chauffeurs. C H A U F F. E U R S shippers. Number fourteen. 
Your word is proscenium. Proscenium. P R O S C E N I U M. Proscenium. Number 18. The word is bitumen. Bitumen. B I T U M E N. Bitumen. So number 19. The word is Niagara. Niagara. N I A G A R A. Niagara. Round 18. And spell number 13. This word has a near homonym. Your word is soleil. Adjective. Finished with a high luster. Soleil. S-O-L-E-I-L. -E soleil. Number 14. This word is a near, uh, has a homonym. The word is marquee, adjective, having or associated with the name recognition and drawing power of one whose name appears on a permanent canopy. Marquee. Marquee. M A R Q U E E. Marquee. Round Autonomous, adjective, having the right or power of self-government. Is this um is this alternate word for autonomous? I it says um it's words that are selected from Miriam Webster are unabridged. There are additional words for when we come to the end of the list of the first 225 words. Autonomous. Uh, can you give the definition? Having the right or power of self government, possessing a certain degree of political freedom. Sentence, please. The colonists started an armed rebellion over the right to autonomous government. A U T. A-N-I-M-O-U-S. I'm sorry. Forward number 19. This word has a near homonym. Your word is iniquity. Noun. Absence of or deviation from just dealing. Wrongful conduct. Wickedness. Iniquity. What's for speech? Now. Can you repeat it? The word? Yes. Iniquity. I N I Q U I T Y. That's correct. Now, on our final three spellers, spell number 13. Your word is abstracto. Is there an alternate pronunciation? There are no alternate pronunciations. Definition? An entity considered apart from any particular object or specific instance. Can you repeat the word? Abstractum. 
abstractum. A, B, S, T, R, A, C, T, U, M, abstractum. Report to you. Your word is touche. Touche. T O U C H E. Touche. Number nineteen. Your word is heretical. A free society allows the expression of all opinions, however heretical they may seem. Heretical. Heretical. H e r e t i c a l. Heretical. Spelling number thirteen. Your word is corroborate. Can you use it in a sentence? The witness who will corroborate Zorba's alibi is a highly respected member of the community. Can you say the definition? Corroborate, to provide evidence of the truth of, to confirm. Can you repeat the word? Corroborate. Corroborate. C A R R O B O R A T E. I'm sorry. Number fourteen. Your word is eccentric. Eccentric. E X C E N. T R I C, eccentric. That's correct, it's law number 19. This word has a homonym. Your word is amorphous, adjective, without definite nature or character, not allowing clear classification or analysis. Amorphous. Adjective. When the politician said that she was doing what the people wanted, her opponent insisted that she define that amorphous term, the people. Amorphous. A N O R P A Q S. Amorphous. I believe at the end of this round we have one speller remaining. The speller will now have to spell the championship word in order to confirm their place. If they do not spell it correctly, we will return to those who were uh, eliminated in the beginning of the round. Is that correct, judges? All right. Speller number 14, your last word is costive. Can you repeat the word? Costive. Um, can you say it in a sentence? The fiery senator argued that the country could not afford more days of costive parliamentary debate during its time of crisis. Costive. C O S T I V E. Costive. That is correct. You are the winner of the Great Hearts Live. <laughs> behind the spelling bee, and it only, this is not as a, uh, an award this first born. Congratulations. Congratulations, you did amazing. <laughs> we're so proud of all of us, your spelling is so good, and we wish you luck, and you brought gold.
Should we have a <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's let's take a moment. Let's let's announce all of our finalists. Yeah. And we want to hear names and grades. Are we allowed to do yes. that now? Yeah. Yes. Let's let's give honor to where it's due. All right. <laughs> Our first, we want to start with her. Yep, let's start with our let's start with our winner. My name is Bridget Hogan, um, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm 11 years old. Congratulations. My name is Charlotte Harding. I'm 10 years old, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Melody Maldoza and I'm in sixth grade. <laughs> My name is Shana Marani and I'm four years old in South Lake. Congratulations. Great job, yeah, everybody. Good job. Good job. Very impressive. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for those of you who are at home and who've been watching. And um, if you can't see the team behind us here, but the students are far outnumbered um, by the number of faculty who have been assisting in the spelling bee. In addition to Mrs. Mendoza, uh, we also want to thank our pronouncer, Ms. Rosenthal. <laughs> our judges, Mrs. Bankus. In addition, behind the scenes working on the Facebook is uh, East Coast Smelly Dick. Thank you so much. And then tabulating this, you know, these rounds and, and words as well, we also have Mrs. Jackson. <laughs> Additional assistance, uh, the whole time supporting Mrs. Mendoza is and Mrs. Williams are our chief cheerleader for the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that the Facebook community uh, also wants to thank our wonderful Ms. Mayfield, who we keep everybody safe. <laughs> 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 Finally, uh, in addition to our scholars and our incredible preparation, parents, thank you so much for preparing your children for this great day. Uh, we really do know that, that you are supporting them and loving on them, and we thank you so much for your partnership and your enthusiasm. It's a great day at Live Oak, everybody. Woo!